did a video as well. Oh, you're gonna show you the channel five. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that looks pretty good from up here. So what we're doing here today is we're salvaging fish out of the area where the uh, fish fence is going to be replaced. Uh, we want to get all of the fish out of here and one of the methods that we're using is an electrofisher. This uses a pulsed current to uh, attract and stun the fish so that we can net them and move them to a safe location while we're doing the construction. So today we've captured coho fry, cutthroat trout, uh, lamprey, and crayfish. As the project is going along, I can explain what the machines are doing and, and uh, so on. On Monday, fisheries came down to our uh, nickel mackle hatchery <clears throat> and we were preparing to put in a new uh, fish trap and uh, a bladder to uh, prevent the fish from going uh, or coming upstream when we're uh, capturing our brood stock. And with the bladder, we'll be able to uh, release the bladder and let the fish continue on after we've taken our brood stock. For this week, what we're doing is fisheries have put uh, a dam uh, upstream of uh, the work site and a dam downstream of the work site. And uh, we've uh, captured any fry that are in between the two, the two dams, so that it's uh, being prepared for the uh, excavation. And uh, at our hatch, we've had uh, problems with flooding as well. So what we're going to do is uh, modify the grade in the uh, creek so the water flows more freely at the same time being suitable for spawning salmon. The work should be by Friday, so a week from the time we start to the time we're finished. And part of the preparation is uh, fisheries is setting up a pump at the upstream uh, end of the uh, construction area that we're doing, or modification area, and pump the water across uh, the land to the end of the downstream portion of what we're doing so that uh, Lafarge can uh, have their excavator in and do their excavation without a bunch of sediment being washed downstream mm. because the water will be then diverted until it's over and then it'll continue on its normal path. As the project is going along I can explain what the machines are doing and, and uh, so on. Oh, I says all the work that we did bringing the spawning gravel down with buckets and wheelbarrows, and now it's all gone. Yeah, we should wash it and put it back. I think so. That would be a good idea. Yeah. I think they are intending to put some of this back. The good stuff they're going to put back. 
as long as it's not contaminated with other uh, spoils. That's it? Yeah. Because yeah. there's some burlap over there from the... Uh, yeah, we couldn't yeah. pull that out. It's frying and then ripped. Okay. But yeah. I don't want to regrade that whole thing, right? If I can regrade. Yeah. Yeah, we can... If you guys can like that.
the back, the back end, right about, right where the uh, paint line is. Bill. Bill. But for enumeration, uh, typically you guys have it open when there's people around. But um, the uh, long-term idea will be to hopefully incorporate a camera so that we can have a uh, camera that's videotaping fish swimming through. So when you guys aren't here and the river's high, yeah. and you, you don't want to net fish, the camera will be... Uh, videotaping fish swimming by and then we'll review that footage and uh, we'll be able to count fish. Oh, well, there's a chinook that just went up, or there's a coho that just went up. We'll be able to count them instead of netting them over. There, there are all sorts of really neat options with that. You can, uh, I believe you can access it from a separate laptop than the one that you have set up with the software. So um, there's a whole bunch of different options for how to handle the data. Yeah. So you can do it. You could do it from home, I'm pretty sure, but we'll get there. I think it would, baby be, stuff. I think it would be neat to have on our website yeah. so totally. people can actually... Well, having yeah. the camera live yes, yeah. so that people are can log in and watch fish go by, it yeah. would be oh, so good. cool. Yeah. Be awesome. yeah. Wow. So that's the long-term. How high does it get, long -term. Huh? not being here last fall? How high is the water going to get? Here? It'll get to the top of the bank. It will. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, not, more. <laughs> not as often. Right as it used to because we've eliminated uh, the pinch points here. This pinch point being quite narrow at the top end, fills the water up and then it flows around the edges and all that's eliminated. Our next pinch point is here. Um, so we're, we are, the water level down here will be pretty much the same. 
I think, in this pool. But this pinch point should eliminate water flowing over. over. Not, a, I, I guess, as often, hopefully, as it is over. Okay.